Welcome to day eight of the 300 movie challenge. Today we watch the highest grossing film of January 1994. Five. 95. 95. I'm smart. January 1995, which was Higher Learning. This was an odd one. It's... Yeah. We all basically came out of it saying, okay. <laughs> yeah, we all, were, after it ended, we all were just like, okay. So that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, happened. it was yeah. just like, yeah. So. I'll, brief summary is because probably most of you haven't seen this, but then again, if you haven't seen this, I don't know why are you watching this. Um, <laughs> it's I'll basically it's it's kind of like a mostly racial but not completely racial kind of commentary with like regarding students in a in a university. Um, yeah. And there's there's kind of gender stuff in there as well, but it's and other stuff, but it's mostly racial. Um, yeah. One thing that I did like is that. Pretty much every character makes bad decisions. Yeah, yeah. which is very realistic. Yeah. Yeah. And There's you, no perfect character. Right, and you, at least especially for the main characters, you understand kind of the path that they took, right? Even yeah. if you completely disagree with the path, you get why from their point of view they thought it was a good idea. Yeah. And again, it was on both sides, right? You had the guy who ended up joining the neo-Nazis, and you had the guy, you know, who kind of... Black Panther esque, sort of, but you know, kind of at least yeah. getting there. And you see how, and you also, they kind of have interesting parallels where, like, they both are kind of coming to the same conclusion about the other group, in a sense. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so that was nice parallelism. It's not just saying, like, oh, the white racist guys are bad, right? I mean, like, yeah. the movie, of course, that was the, if you want to make it super obvious, like, that is the focus, in a sense, of kind of, you know, the, the I guess the main, main character is the black guy Malik and who he ends up kind of succeeding um but it's it's still not well it's not black and white her 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 um <laughs> so i guess the only like but the thing is the fact that the characters make mistakes a lot of the time it kind of makes a lot of the characters unlikable yeah, yeah. it's like, really <laughs> hard to really pick any from the main characters mm -hmm. like we were discussing before that my favorite characters were like Two side girls. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the no, black, no. The, both the, the black girls, the roommate to the main girl and the Malik's girlfriend. Yeah, yeah Tyra Banks. Unfortunately got shot. Yeah. But I kind of saw that coming because they usually... They always kill the girl. Yeah, they always kill the girl. Or like the love interest person. Yeah. Yeah. No, I will say they used a little too much blood for that scene. Yeah, they didn't have to do that, and, well, um... At least they didn't show the guy actually shooting himself in the head. Yeah, <laughs> that was true! Worse. I'm very thankful about that. That would've been worse. Yeah, I mean... Um, again, I, I, do, I do think what's really nice is that... You do at least understand how the characters get to where they are, even if you completely disagree with it. And uh, there are points where, like, um... They are well done, they're, like good scenes or good like tense moments right it's just i guess as a whole it was kind of meh yeah yeah there was nothing like amazing about it there yeah, wasn't like, anything but... memorable per se it ranged Not between really. fine and good yeah. at some points but mostly yeah. just fine yeah. yeah probably the best like... scenes at least for me were like the ones again like the parallel like the one um, where you, uh, you you see the neo Nazis kind of you know hyping themselves up about oh we gotta go to war and then you see the black guys who are about like you know oh we just punched them out we gotta go for, you know kind of the parallel between those yeah. and also oh, the yeah. scene that was actually kind of caught me off guard was um, that also led me to a kind of a problem though is the the g main girl uh, I think her name oh, is yeah. Chris, Kristen and Chris she she was she's having she's in a relationship a lesbian relationship with someone and a straight relationship with someone at the same time. And how that yeah. scene is done, where it, like it looks like a continuous shot, but it keeps like cutting back to the other person. Yeah, yeah. that scene was really. Cool. Yeah, that was a nice scene. Um, oh. That said, they like never resolved that issue. Yeah, no, and that and I that also was like, wait a minute, too, because I'm just like, okay, we, I understand we were following. The biggest thing was like what happened with Malik, and everything. Yeah. But this is. It's there still was never any resolution for that, and it never, it didn't feel like 
there was a proper ending to it because you saw her in the beginning too. Yeah, and she seemed to have a huge her story. Yeah, she seemed to have a really big focus in the beginning. I mean, the whole like rape thing at the beginning was like a big deal, and in a sense, that how kind of got all the black guys involved, right? Yeah. So it was kind of like, but then she just kind of faded away and wasn't really that important. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I thought maybe. It would have came out during the peace fest thing after the shooting and stuff that maybe she would have to face both of them and everything yeah but no she didn't and it's kind of like okay i don't know if they wrote her in like last minute because it seemed like she was only important in the beginning and then she dropped off and then there's nothing else for Either her that or maybe they mashed up two movie ideas like oh my god maybe they <laughs> sat down at a table and we were they were like okay we gotta, gotta make a movie about a college campus kind of thing. And like one guy gave the Malik storyline and the other guy gave the Christian... Chris, Kristen, Christian? Christian. <laughs> Christian storyline. Um, and then maybe they thought of mashing it together it seems like, but maybe. then... To try one of them and give... developed better than the other one. Yeah. But, yeah, because I guess they were like, okay, we'll do a compromise. We'll focus on this person in the beginning and this person at the end. But it didn't really. It really wasn't happen. balanced. Right, especially because like, Kristen didn't really get any closure. But it's at, at the end. But it's not like Malik. It, it wasn't there in the beginning, right? Yeah. Like Malik's yeah. Malik's story was basically complete. Right. Yeah. There wasn't. I can't really think of anything that was missing with him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Kristen's story definitely was kind of like, wait, but uh, and I and I kind of get they were kind of going for like a slice of life, sort of <laughs> about like here's yeah, college her. life for some. T well, kind of the whole movie, just like this is yeah. college life for yeah. a period of time. And so, because like the even the ending is not like a solid conclusion, right? Um, yeah. It kind of just. You know, climax and then kind of slows and ends, and it ends fine, but it's not. You know what I mean? So maybe that's is what they were going with. I don't know. Maybe they had some idea for a sequel. I don't know. Um, probably not. But who knows? Probably not. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's. I would say, especially if you're um, kind of interested in seeing any sort of like, if you're just interested in like kind of a racial commentary movie, it's fine to see. It's fine to see. I won't say yeah. like. Yeah. You have to see this movie, but, um, you know. It has interesting stuff in it, but yeah. Yeah. there are better ones to look at. Mm -hmm. But again, and also as we said earlier, there's really nothing that I can think of as being bad. Oh, one, one more thing, actually, yeah. that did kind of annoy me a little bit. I felt like the campus security was, like, it, it's too so much. Bad. It was, like, it was, yeah. like, it was, like, I feel like even in, like, Alabama... Like, <laughs> university <laughs> security would just... wouldn't be that ex biased. Yeah, yeah, especially, like, I think this takes place in, like, when, the, when it was made, so 1994. Well, yeah. yeah. So, I don't think they were that backwards, especially, like, in Ohio? Yeah. Is that where they I were? Think... I don't know if it ever really said. I mean, there's a Columbus think... in Ohio, so well, I, I assume. I don't know. Actually, well... wait, no, 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 wait, didn't Kristen say she was local and that she was from Orange County? Oh yeah, yeah. So, oh, never mind. Yeah, so that would be Southern California. So, well, even then, Southern California. So, going off the security guard thing, though, is the fact that is is the campus really that small that there's only like five security guards? Oh yeah, <laughs> they're way too few. Car? Like during the whole shooting thing, don't you think like the security would have there's more than just like two security guards and really they only came like 10 minutes later mm -hmm. and stuff to the staircase and stuff yeah it seems very strange yeah but but i think yeah just from that scene i remembered that another thing that i kind of liked seeing because it, it is very true is how they tried to talk the white supremacist guy out of shooting because they're very like gentle with him but then like though the black guy immediately beat him yeah Kinda, yeah and I, I know I've... that for i know like a lot of people in america they talk down the shooter mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. it's a white guy but then with how things have been lately they 
usually shoot on sight anyone else. Yeah, I mean, that that part though, when they immediately started like beating him in the stairwell... That I'm, was a little bit too I'm much. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. I feel like that's not quite realistic. I don't know. Like, especially no. not on a college campus. Well, especially yeah. when there just was a shooting and the guy was yeah. running up to where a shooting, a shooter was. It's like, uh, I don't know. Even, yeah. uh, even if you assume the cops didn't know the neo-Nazi guy was the shooter, which, I mean, that's fair that they wouldn't immediately know that. Yeah. It still seems kind of, like, you know, restrain They would still it. at Res least tell both of them right, up because they're both in the of building yeah. where You're not the gonna shooter. let one of them escape. You're gonna get both of them. Right. Yeah. Or at least try to. Yeah, so, that again, it's, it's not a huge deal, and, like, you know, it doesn't, like, make the movie seem super biased and therefore it's full of shit, right? So, yeah. uh, you know, it works. It's not amazing. It's not horrible. It works. It's mostly. okay. It's, nah. it's fine. <laughs> it's fine for what it is, basically. If yeah. anything, I actually kind of expected this to be more boring. Yeah. yeah. It's we really, all went it's... into this with pretty no, underestimating no. it. Yeah. No expectations. But yeah. it, was, it was fine to watch. Mm-hmm. Probably never going to choose this on like an airplane to watch. <laughs> no, but if someone's like, "Hey, watch this," then sure. I mean, I won't say no, I guess. But mm. I'd I... probably suggest another movie. But well, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was fine. Yeah, it there. was fine. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's <laughs> all there is to it. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no sorrow treatment this time. No. <laughs> Although the next one, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> I may not be angry, but I might be dead, disappointed. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for now. Uh, Bye. Goodbye, and see you Bye. guys for the next one. Yes. <laughs> Stop dying. <laughs> Sorry.